Hi there ladies and gentlemen, this is Clint Cash and I want to talk to you about torsion bars. If you look here, I have pulled out several torsion bars. This is for uh, B and E bodies specifically. And um, if you go to my website at PlymouthCuda.com, uh, I will talk about these torsion bars and I'll also put this, this uh, video on there. As well as please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you will see more informative videos in regards to Mopar parts and classic cars and such on my YouTube channel. So let's talk briefly about these torsion bars. There's a lot of numbers on these things and there's differences. So uh, let's just talk on each set, kind of what they go over. Now um, let's start with this first set here on the far right, these two here. If you look there, those are numbers, and if you see the L and the R, that would be the left and the right side. Okay, so this is a 774 and a 775 part numbers, and those actually would go together in a car, and uh, then, then you can see obviously from the L and the R which sides those torsion bars would go on. If you look below there, you can see the numbers below, um, and those numbers there are date codes. So for example, on the left, torsion bar you see it says 29 2 that 29 represents the other uh, 29th week of 1972 if you come over here and look at this torsion bar you can see it says 25 2 well that's the 25th week of 1972 so these 774 and 775s they are actually 0.86 of an inch in diameter these torsion bars okay and those would actually go on a B and E bodies you would see possibly these on a 198 or a 225 or possibly a 318. Now, when you go over to this other torsion bar here that we're, that we're talking about at the 776 on that one, then you might see with the 776 and the 777, you would possibly see these torsion bar bars on a 273, is, uh, a 318, a 361, a 383, you know, uh, a lot of the 383s would possibly be like a 383 two barrel, not a high performance model. Um, but those are kind of what you're gonna see uh, with, these, uh, with these torsion bars when it's the 776, 777. Now, let's move over to this torsion bar here, which is these two, which would be the 778 and 779. Now again, you can obviously see the date codes at the bottom, so we're not going to talk about that since I've already spoken about that. You'll get that already. You're already learning. Now if we look here, you can notice that the inspection marks, those are kind of a uh, aluminum or silver type finish. That's what that color is. Okay, so these, uh, these 778s and 779s, those are actually 0.90 of an inch. That's what those, so they're a little bit bigger. And um, these would go on, uh, for the B body and E bodies, these would go on a 340, a 383 four barrel, possibly a 400 four barrel, and even in a, a, a few instances, you possibly might see them on a 440. And that might be uh, like maybe in 1972 in that year model. Okay, so then let's move over to the king of the hill here uh what were the king of this table let's put it to you that way the next ones here these torsion bars are very popular ones because they're the 780 781s okay and i'm trying to get a good video here of this one and it's hard to make out the 780 because it's been hit by somebody trying to remove it so you can see again, you can see the, the date codes. Now I want to look look really closely at this left one. And if you look at that date code, it has a backwards one on it. So that's kind of interesting. Of course, Mopar already did always did some weird things. But um, these two right here, these would, would go on the B and E bodies, but they would go for the bigger engines, such as the 426 Hemi and the 440. You know the performance the performance cars a lot of the b and e body performance cars would get these and then these would actually have a, a brown inspection mark so uh and these of course are going to be a bigger diameter and those would be 0.92 of an inch uh on the diameter so they're going to be the, the stronger uh torsion bars are gonna, and they'll be put on those based on the engine size for the performance cars 
but as you can see this is just kind of an example of all these torsion bars and what they looked like i kind of i wanted to show a little bit of how the inspection marks are done um you know the paint marks and and how you can see on the right and left you'd actually have one versus two uh, depending on which side you're on. So again, if it's on the right side, you're gonna have two inspection marks and on the left side, you'd have one. Well, I hope you enjoyed the information about the torsion bars. The video hopefully really helps you in understanding how uh, the different diameters of the torsion bars and the inspection marks and things of that, that matter. It is very intricate when working on these Mopars. I mean, any car that you restore, it's intricate. And so I'm just trying to create something to help out in the process of restoration or even on just understanding. So please subscribe to my page. Love to have you as a subscriber and follow me and uh, look out for more videos. Also, come to my website if you want to look up some more data as well at PlymouthCuda.com. See you next time.